Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about all the series that I am in the middle of. I'm going to show you um, my series tracker that I just created. I actually went through my library history and looked for any series that I had started and not finished. I looked through my Kindle history um, because I had uh, I have a very good habit of finding free Kindle books and starting series but then not continuing them. So one of my goals for 2024 is to finish some series that I'm in the middle of. So I'm going to show you my series tracker and then we will go from there. <music> So here is my finished series tracker updated to the best of my knowledge. Um, so this is really exciting that I have so many series that I am working on. Um, and I will go a little bit more in depth with the in depth with those in a little bit. So here's my current series tracker. I have a couple written in pencil that I have recently added in that I either found after I made the series tracker or I realized that I started. Um, so the Between Earth and Sky is I have just started um, Black Sun and I didn't realize that was a series. Um, but I've had that book on hold for a couple of months and I finally got it as an audiobook. So one of my goals for this year is going to be to fill in all of these bubbles. And one of the things that I did with these bubbles is I tried to color coat them roughly to the color of the cover of the book. Um, so for example, the Bridgerton series, all I have left is like the novella or like, I think it's called like the happily ever afters part. So I'm going to probably purchase that because I own the rest of that series and read that quickly. Um, the Hades and Persephone ones, I have the next two audiobooks I think available at my library app so I'm gonna do that and the fourth one comes out in March I believe um so this month so yeah that I have a lot of series to work on and that is really my goal for this year so as you can see I have so many series to continue working on um and I might just talk you through them right now so the Hades and Persephone series I started in like January February of this year and I started listening to those as audiobooks um and I have two that are out and then the fourth book comes out in I believe March of this year so I'm already on the list on hold for that library um when I start a series I like to finish the series in the format that I started it in. So if I started it in audiobook format, I want to finish in audiobook format. If I start it in ebook format, I want to finish it in ebook format. If I read or like have a physical book, I want to finish it in that format. So that's kind of my thought process behind there. Um, so the next series that I have on here is the like Lilac Girls series. Um, I listen to those as audiobooks. Um, they are semi biographical novels um, that follow women um, in history. So I've read Lilac Girls, and the second one's called something about Rose, and then the final one is called is Sunflower or something. I can't remember. Um, but it follows the main character um is based on a real person um so there's by bi some biographical elements of that um so i have that one on hold at the library currently the caravel series i own it is on my physical tbr and the second one is on my march tbr the lady sherlock series um that one i'm up to date on other than the most recent book i think 
And then there must be like a companion level because I have a little half circle here and my half circles are like novellas or companion novels or something to that effect. Um, the Stoneheart series is one that I started at the end of last year. It was a book that I had owned for a really long time um, and I started that. That is a trilogy. The Inheritance Games I started in February um, because I got the first book on Kindle Unlimited so I'll probably continue reading that in an ebook format. Um, the Mr. Dar Mr. Darcy and Miss Tilney series. I actually listened to the audiobook of the second one. Um, there's the first one's out and I think there's a third one that's either out already, like it recently came out or there's, or it's coming out. So I will try to listen to that one as an audiobook. Um, the X-Hex, I have the second book on audio currently. Um, it is one of like the four audiobooks that my loans came or my holds came available all at the same time so we are going to be doing a lot of listening to audiobooks in the coming days um the breadwinner series i actually have the first three books as a like one book set um so there's two more books in that series that um i would like to read so those i have as physical books um because those are children's books i might try to get them at my library first and read them in ebook format. Um, then I have the Adrian and Isolde series by um, Scarlett St. Clair. Um, and the third book of that is coming out sometime this year. I'm not sure, but I listened to those in audiobook format. Same with the Immortal Engine series. I listened to that in audiobook format. As you can see, I listen to a lot of audiobooks. That's what I listen to on my drive to and from work versus music. Um, it's a way that I can get through the books that are, that I really want to read, but I just don't have time for. So, you know, have that drive every day. So I listen to audiobooks. Bridgerton, all I've left is the companion novel. Um, I will probably purchase that because I have the set of all the novels. I have a, the original Sherlock Holmes series. I've read the third one. I own that one. You can see it kind of right there i have the adventures of sherlock holmes i'm gonna try to get those books on either in ebook format or purchase them i'm sure i can find them at like a garage sale or a used bookstore um i have the first edition library mysteries um the first book i have like right over here and that is a book that i was gifted um by my um boyfriend's mom and there's actually two more books in that series so i'm going to try to find those in either ebook or physical book format i don't think they're that expensive because they're not super popular um i have a study in charlotte that i have absolutely no idea i think i probably listened to that as an audiobook the burning cove um books I think I've read one in ebook format. I listened to one in audiobook format. Um, so I'll do the rest of that series in either um, zeros. I think I listened to the first one in audiobook, but I'll probably try to find the rest in ebook format or um, physical book because I've read a lot of the other Scott Westerfeld books physically, and I feel like that's how I like to experience his writing. Um, Billy and Me, I read as a ebook. Um, so there's like a Christmassy novel, like companion novel that I want to read. And then there's a second book to that. The Mary Russell and Sherlock Holmes series has ate a lot of books. I think it was like 16 or 18, something like that. Um, and I listened to the first two in ebook format. So I'm going to continue to listen to those in ebook format. Um, I enjoy those and I love mystery books. Um, the Daughter of Sherlock Holmes, I think I listened to an ebook. So you can tell I had a ebook phase um, where I listened to those. Um, the Narrow series by Adrian Young. Um, I listened to some on audiobook. I have the third one in that world on ebook format. I think it was on Kindle Unlimited. And then the fourth book, I believe, comes out this year sometime 
Shadow and Shade, I have an ebook format, so I'm going to continue those. I actually have all of those books already um, that I either purchased because they were pretty cheap, um, and I just need to finish reading them um, that I did a couple years ago. And then, like I said earlier in this video, Between Earth and Sky, I have just started Black Sun in audiobook format, and the third book in that actually comes out this year. So those are all the series that I'm actually in the middle of right now. The goal is to completely, to the best of my ability, color out the rest of my tracker. Um, some of the books, because they come out this year, might not be possible, but that is my goal for this year. So, thank you so much for watching my All the Series I'm in the Middle of video, and I will see you next time. Bye!